So can you really start dropshipping on Facebook Marketplace for zero dollars or is there a catch? I'm gonna show you in this video. Hey, what's up everyone? Paul here from dropshippingtitans.com where I teach regular people just like you how to start your first successful dropshipping store. And this is part of my ongoing series about Facebook Marketplace dropshipping. Now, the reason I've been talking about this so much is because I really believe that this is one of the simplest ways to get started as a complete beginner if you're looking for a way to break into e-commerce because you need no experience and very, very little money upfront in order to get started. In fact, in this video, I'm going to break down for you exactly everything you need in order to start a successful Facebook marketplace dropshipping. Let's just call it Facebook dropshipping from now on. Everything that you need to start a successful Facebook dropshipping business and exactly how much each of those things cost. Make sure to watch everything and don't skip around because there are some hidden costs in here that I want you to be fully aware of before you start doing this and you skip around, you might miss them. So the first thing you're going to need here is a Facebook account. So if you have a Facebook account, you know it's completely free to sign up, right? They don't charge you any money to create a Facebook account. So no hidden fees involved right here. Pretty straightforward. Just sign up for Facebook. If you already have a Facebook account, don't start a new one. Just use the one that you already have. You already have it set up. It already works. It's not like all your friends are gonna see all the products that you're selling. That's not gonna happen. When you start selling on Facebook Marketplace, your items will actually be hidden from your friends so they don't see that you're trying to do this. So just use the account that you have. It's free, you already have it. Now, when you sign up for Facebook, you're also going to get access right away to Facebook Marketplace. This is it right here. So just click on the top on this Marketplace icon and you can start to get a feel for like how Facebook Marketplace looks and how it works. And you're gonna see that there are just so many different products in here, just a ton of them, all from used products to new products to people doing drop shipping as well. And as you see, you can come in here and you can start buying stuff and start selling stuff and it doesn't cost you any money to sign up for them. You don't even need to create a new account. As long as you already have a Facebook account, you already have a Facebook Marketplace account. Now this is immediately different than other platforms. So platforms like Amazon, for instance, if you start selling on Amazon, they charge you a fee just to become a seller. And on eBay as well. If you sign up for eBay, there is a free option, but you get benefits to having a paid subscription with them as a seller. So they eventually do get you to start paying a monthly fee to them just to be able to sell but nothing like that exists here on Facebook. You will start selling no matter what level you're at. It's always going to be free for you to sell here on Facebook Marketplace. So since you already have access for free to Facebook and the Facebook Marketplace, the next thing you have to do is start finding products that you wanna have listed up for sale. Now, the way that I recommend that you find products is if you already sell on eBay or Amazon, the products that are doing well on there will also probably do well on Facebook Marketplace. So if you already have that in place, then the product research is really simple for you. But if you don't have that in place, if you're not selling on another platform, that's okay, because we can still use that information to find great items to list on Facebook Marketplace. So I'll real quickly give you a brief overview of how I do this. What I do is I come over here on eBay and I search for a brand that only Walmart sells, because Walmart is one of the suppliers that I use. So here I come on here and I see all these Walmart products that are being sold, like these tables, these bed frames, all this stuff. And if it's selling well here on eBay, it's gonna sell well on Facebook Marketplace as well. So for instance, these picture frames, let's open this up. Actually, I don't even have to open it up. I see it sold 16 times. So all I'm going to do is find this product on Walmart and drop ship it on Facebook or list it up for sale on Facebook Marketplace. And that is free product research right there. Now, if you wanna see another video where I go kind of more in depth into how I do the product research, make sure to check out this video right here. But for now, this is completely free so far. The next thing we have to do is actually source a product. Now, like I said, and like I hinted at before, we're just getting this item from Walmart. In fact, here it is right here. And the cool thing is that because we're using these other retailers like Walmart and amazon.com, you could set up accounts with them completely for free. Now, this is where some of those more hidden fees start to come in because all these retail websites, they do have 
subscription services that do give you some really great benefits. So for instance, Amazon has Amazon Prime and Walmart has Walmart Plus, and we do use those and we find them incredibly helpful and beneficial to use those, especially with drop shipping. Now, the great thing about them is compared to the kind of value you get, the price is pretty low. Both these services, Amazon Prime and Walmart Plus are both $12.95 or $12.99 a month. The Walmart Plus, you can sign up for $98 for the whole year. Now, why I really think that these are great services to sign up for is because you're gonna get fast, free delivery on all of your orders with these. So you don't have to do this right away because Walmart and Amazon will give you free shipping on orders that are over a certain dollar amount. So you can just concentrate more on those items at first, but eventually you will want to sign up for Amazon Prime and Walmart Plus unless you already have it for your own household already. And it comes with all these amazing benefits. So it's, it's definitely worth it. But to start, you don't technically need this to start. Now, once you pick your item, the next thing you have to do is actually list the item up for sale. So if I come over here on Facebook Marketplace and create a listing and go through the whole listing process, you could see that I wasn't charged anything to do this. That's because creating a listing on Facebook Marketplace is completely free. And this is different than something like eBay. If you're selling on eBay, you know that you get a certain number of free listings every single month, meaning that you can list those items up for sale and eBay doesn't charge you just to list the items. But after you hit that number of free listings, they do start to charge you to list items. Facebook never does that. You can just keep listing and listing and listing and listing, and they don't charge you to list more items. Now, the next thing I recommend that you get is the Facebook Messenger app for your phone. This would be a really easy way for potential customers to message you and so that they can say, hey, will you take a little bit less for this item? Or when is this item available? How long will it take to ship to me? Or what color is this item in? People are gonna have questions about the item. And the faster you can answer those questions, the faster you can get back to the customers, the more likely it is that they are going to purchase from you. So make sure you do get the Facebook Messenger app on your phone and that's free. Now what's gonna happen next is you are going to sell your item. And as soon as that happens, it's really important that you then go underneath this video and smash the like button. In fact, it's been proven that if you actually hit that like button down below, it will increase the chance that you will get another sale after you get your first one. But once you do that, you will then see that Facebook charges you a 5% fee for that item. So that is their fee, 5% of the cost of the item. That is it. Now look at other places like Amazon that charges about 15% and eBay that charges about 9%. 5% is extremely, extremely low. In fact, it's the lowest I've seen on any marketplace out there. So this is the fee that's associated with selling on Facebook Marketplace. But what we do is when we list the item up for sale, we make sure we mark it up enough to cover that 5% fee and more so we actually make a profit. And because there's really very little other costs involved so far, unless you sign up for one of those subscriptions like Amazon Prime or Walmart Plus, our margins are doing really, really well so far. The next thing we have to do though, is we actually have to fulfill the order here on Walmart. So literally all you're going to do is add the item to your cart and ship it to the customer. Now we've already built in the price of the item in the price on Facebook. So this is a $20.99, I added extra in for shipping, I added in 5% for the fees, and then I added in even more for profit. So that means when I sell the item, uh, the 5% comes out and I still have more than enough for the price of the item, more than enough for shipping, and then more than enough for profit as well. The only caveat here is that Facebook does not release the money to you right away. So that means that they first require that you upload a tracking number, that the tracking number shows that the item was delivered, and then five business days later, Facebook releases the money to you. If the tracking number doesn't show that the item was delivered, then they will release the money to you after 21 days. So in the meantime, what you have to do is you need a really solid credit card, preferably a cash back credit card. You use that credit card to fulfill the orders on your supplier's website like Walmart, or amazon.com and then you get cash back for that order. As soon as Facebook releases the money to you, you then use that money to pay off the credit card. This is what people do on eBay, it's what they do on Amazon and it's what we have to do on Facebook as well. So if you have a good credit card, that is what you should be doing. So if we look at a full breakdown of everything, as you see the cost to get started is extremely low. In fact, the only real cost is that 5% fee. As long as you have a credit card, you're gonna be good because you're gonna be able to fill the orders, 
get cash back and then be able to pay off that credit card as soon as the money is released to you. Now, obviously there is a lot more that goes into Facebook Marketplace drop shipping. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually releasing a course soon on exactly how to do this. If you wanna sign up for the wait list because it's not open yet, if you wanna sign up for the wait list, that will be the link in the description down below. No commitment at this time, you're just signing up saying that you're interested and I'll email you as soon as that is available. So make sure to click that link Sign up for the wait list and I'll let you know as soon as the course is available. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you want to check out another video about Facebook Marketplace dropshipping, click this one right here. That will show you how much money I made my first week doing Facebook dropshipping. So click that video and I'll see you there in a second.